I'm going to win the Buffalo Sabres a Stanley Cup. After every season, I'm going to spin a wheel and add one NHL All-Star to this team. Let's see how many All-Stars it takes for Buffalo to win a Stanley Cup. Based on what this team has done in the past decade, I think this might be a long video. In the first season, the team's finishing with a 33, 39, and 10 record, 8th in the Atlantic, and 29th in the entire league. Tage Thompson's leading the way with 18 goals and 41 assists for 59 points, while Craig Anderson's picking up 25 wins with a 908 Sabres engine and 290 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring is Brad Marchand with 48 goals and 63 assists for 111 points, while Demko picks up 43 wins with a 913 Sabres engine and a 267 goals against. When the playoffs came to an end, the Boston Bruins are defeating the Vancouver Canucks in 7 games. Pasta led the way with 16 goals and 14 assists for 30 points, while Allmarks are Stanley Cup winning goaltender picking up 16 wins with a 922 Sabres engine and a 248 goals against. With our first spin, literally anything's going to help this team, but we're landing on the Tampa Bay Lightning, so we got tons of selections. And honestly, this isn't really a tough selection for me, because I'm taking Andre Vasilevsky. We need a great goalie, and he's one of the best, if not the best. The Sabres saw some improvement heading into year 2 with a 39-34-9 record, 6th in the Atlantic and 18th in the entire league. Tage Thompson's once again leading the way with 27 goals and 37 assists for 64 points, while Vasilevsky picks up 34 wins with a 905 save percentage and a 294 goals against. Once again, and Brad Marchand's leading the entire league in scoring with 118 points consisting of 49 goals and 69 assists, while Carey Price picks up 46 wins with a 916 save percentage and a 259 goals against. In the playoffs, the Vegas Golden Knights are defeating the Tampa Bay Lightning in 5 games. McKinnon led all postseason scores with 20 points consisting of 4 goals and 16 assists, while Robin Leonard's picking up 16 wins with a 936 save percentage and a 199 goals against. With our next spin, we're not going to get a chance at a bunch of superstar players like last time as we're landing on the Detroit Red Wings, but they got a solid rookie here named Mo Sider, so I'm taking him. Somehow the addition of Mo Sider made this team worse as we went 36-40-6, and 7th in the Atlantic and 27th in the entire league. Victor Olofsson's leading the way with 24 goals and 38 assists for 62 points, while Vasilevsky picks up 31 wins with a 913 save percentage and 284 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring for the third year in a row was Brad Marchand, 42 goals and 56 assists for 98 points, while Vasilevsky on the Tampa Bay Lightning is picking up 49 wins with a 916 save percentage and a 286 goals against. I feel like this is also the perfect time to mention I'm not removing players like Vasilevsky from the team after I've selected them. I'm just copying and pasting that player onto the Buffalo Sabres. When the playoffs came to an end, the Tampa Bay Lightning are defeating the St. Louis Blues in five games. Kucherov led the way with 15 goals and 15 assists for 30 points, while Vasilevsky picked up 16 wins with a 930 save percentage and a 210 goals against. I feel like with the two spins we've had so far, we've been fairly lucky with who we've got to pick, and we're going to get lucky once again as we're selecting from the Florida Panthers. And from the Panthers, I'm going to select Jonathan Huberdeau. Huberdeau definitely helped this team as we finished with a 42-31-9 record, 4th in the Atlantic and 12th in the entire league, and we're making the postseason. Huberdeau led the way with 77 points, consisting of 28 goals and 49 assists, while Vasilevsky picks up 27 wins with a 9-11 save percentage and a 265 goals against. For the fourth year in a row, Brad Marchand continues to dominate, 36 goals and 67 assists for 103 points, while Tristan Jari picks up 44 wins with a 9-12 save percentage and a 256 goals against. I also want to mention, I'm just re the 2021 20 22 season over and over again. So we're not going 10 years into the future, that's why the rosters continue to stay the same. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Boston Bruins. A 3-0 leads too much to overcome and the Bruins are taking game 1. 6 goals is more than enough in game 2 and the Bruins take a 2-0 series lead. An OT winner from Charlie McAvoy is putting the Sabres on the brink of being swept, but Buffalo is going to avoid the sweep in game 4 with a 4-1 win and they're avoiding elimination in game 5 with a 2-1 win, but in game 6, Boston closes out the series with a 5-2 win. When the playoffs came to an end, the Toronto Maple Leafs are defeating the Anaheim Ducks in six games. At least Buffalo made the playoffs though, so we're making some good strides. Darlene led the way with four goals and two assists for six points, while Austin Matthews led all postseason scores with 15 goals and 12 assists for 27 points. And our Stanley Cup goaltender is going to be Jack Campbell, 16 wins with a 935 save percentage and a 205 goals against. With this next spin, we get the chance to draft an elite sniper as we're landing on the St. Louis Blues. And who are we selecting? It's none other than Tarasenko. And Tarasenko was a massive help to this team. 46 26 and 10, were third in the Atlantic and fourth in the entire league. Huberto led the way with 18 goals and 60 assists for 78 points, while Vasilevsky's picking up 37 wins with a 920 save percentage and a 242 goals against. Leading the entire league in points isn't Brad Marchant, it's Mitch Marner, 104 points consisting of 27 goals and 77 helpers, while Darcy Kepper picks up 41 wins with a 924 save percentage and a 220 goals against. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Tampa Bay 
Lightning this time around. A late goal from Shirelli is allowing Tampa to take game one, but Buffalo responds in game two with a close 2-1 win. A goal from Hagel with 15 seconds left forces OT, and in OT, Stamkos is potting the winner and Tampa's going up two games to one. In game four, an OT winner from Shirelli is putting the Sabres on the brink of elimination. However, Buffalo isn't finished yet as they're going to win game five 3-2 and they're forcing game seven with a 2-1 win in game six. But in Game 7, Tampa dominates from start to finish as they come out on top in a 9-4 victory. When the playoffs came to an end, the Avs are sweeping the Detroit Red Wings in the Stanley Cup Final. Olofsson led the way in postseason scoring with 4 goals and 4 assists for 8 points, while Barzell's picking up 7 goals and 19 assists for 26 points to lead all scorers. And our Stanley Cup winning goaltender is going to be Darcy Kemper, who's picking up 16 wins with a 946 save percentage and a 148 goals against. This dude was absolutely dialed in. Those are incredible numbers. So I think with this next spin, we're going to draft a defense because we haven't dropped in one of those in a while and we have the chance at a great one as we're landing on the New Jersey Devils. So of course that means we're drafting none other than Dougie Hamilton. And if you're enjoying the content so far make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subs by the end of the month and every single sub helps a ton. Dougie didn't help this team as much as I thought as we finished with a 43, 29, and 10 record third in the Atlantic and ninth in the entire league. Huberto led the way with 18 goals and 55 assists for 73 points while Vasilevsky is picking up 30 wins with a 905 save percentage and a 278 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring is Nikita Kucherov, 53 goals and 51 assists for 104 points, while Frederick Anderson's picking up 40 wins with a 918 save percentage and a 246 goals against. In the first round, we're taking on the Florida Panthers. Two late goals from the Panthers are giving them game one, and then four unanswered giving Florida a 2-0 series lead. An OT winner from Tarasenko is keeping the Sabres in the series, but a close 5-1 win for the Panthers is going to put Buffalo on the brink of elimination. Once again, Buffalo isn't ready to fold as they're taking game 5 4-3 and game 6 4-3 as well, but in game 7, we're having a similar result as Buffalo is collapsing once again. When the playoffs came to an end, the Boston Bruins are defeating the Colorado Avalanche in six games. Once again, Olsen's leading the way with four goals and three assists for seven points, while Nathan McKinnon's picking up nine goals and 19 assists for 28 points to lead all postseason scorers. And Linus Allmark, he's going to be our Stanley Cup winning goaltender, 16 wins with a 925 save percentage and a 228 goals against. So there isn't much to say with this next spin. We're landing on the Edmonton Oilers, and I think it's pretty clear who we're taking. Connor McDavid, take us to the promised land. And that's exactly what he's doing. 52, 21, and 9, first in the Atlantic and first in the entire league. McDavid was unreal with us. 37 goals and 63 assists for 100 points. While Vasilevsky's picking up 42 wins with a 919 save percentage and a 238 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring is Connor McDavid from the Edmonton Oilers, and he's picking up 38 goals and 81 assists for 119 points. While Vasilevsky on the Sabres, he's leading all goaltenders in wins. But we already know what his numbers are. In the first round, we're taking on the Boston Bruins. An OT winner from Marchant's giving Boston Game 1. In Game 2, a 4-0 lead is more than enough and the Sabres are evening the series. A late goal from McAvoy is going to put Boston up 2 games to 1, and then 4 unanswered is putting them 1 game away from the second round. Buffalo is able to survive with a Vasilevsky shutout in Game 5, and then 4 unanswered in Game 6. And in Game 7, Buffalo is finally able to reach the second round. And in the second round, they're matching up against the Florida Panthers. 4 unanswered is giving Florida Game 1. An OT winner from Florida gives them a 2-0 series lead, but the Sabres are winning a back and forth affair in Game 3 to keep themselves in the series. In Game 4, a Tarasenko hat-trick is evening up the series, and then in Game 5, two more Tarasenko goals is putting us one game away from the Conference Finals, and in Game 6, five straight goals is sending us to the Conference Finals. In the Conference Finals, we're matching up against the New Jersey Devils. Buffalo starts the series out strong with a 3-0 shutout. New Jersey responds in Game 2 with an OT winner from Nico Heischer, but four straight goals is helping the Sabres take a 2-1 series lead. In Game 4, the Devils are able to respond one once again with six goals, but three unanswered in the third is going to put us one game away from the Stanley Cup final. Sadly, the Devils aren't ready to fold as they're going to force game seven with a 4-2 win, and in game seven, an OT winner from Baposa was sending us to the Stanley Cup final. In the Stanley Cup final, we're going to match up against the St. Louis Blues. Buffalo starts the series off right with a shutout from Vasilevsky. The Blues respond in game two with three unanswered to even the series. Three third period goals is going to help us take a 2-1 series lead, and a close 2-1 win is putting us one game away from hoisting the cup. The Blues are able to survive another day with a 7-4 win in Game 5, and they're forcing Game 7 with the help of an OT winner from Tarasenko. And in Game 7, a late push from the Sabres isn't enough, and the Blues come back from a 3-1 deficit to win the Stanley Cup. This wasn't the result we were looking for, but McDavid completely changed this team, and we're going to be back real soon. McDavid led all postseason scores with 35 points, consisting of 11 goals and 24 assists, while Vili Husso is picking up 16 wins with a 9-17 save percentage and a 262 goals gains to win the Stanley Cup. After how we performed last season, I think we just need to make a few small tweaks to the team and now we get the chance to select somebody from Ottawa and I already know who I'm selecting. Brady Kachuk. We need a bit of grit on this team and that's exactly what you're going to bring in. When the
the season came to an end, once again we're looking fantastic. A 53-22-8 record, first in the Atlantic and first in the entire league. Connor McDavid led the way, 52 goals and 54 assists for 106 points, while Vasilevsky picks up 44 wins with a 921 save percentage and a 228 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring is Connor McDavid, but we already know his numbers, and Vasilevsky, he's leading all goaltenders in wins, and we already know his numbers. So I could tell you, this is our year. In the first round, we're taking on the New York Rangers. Three three-period goals from the Rangers is allowing them to take game one. A Tarasenko hat-trick in game two is evening the series. A 17-save Vasilevsky shutout in game three is putting us up two games to one, and then another shutout from Vasilevsky is going to put us one game away from the second round. The Rangers are able to avoid elimination in game five with a 3-1 win, but in game six, an OT winner from Skinner is sending us to the second round. In the second round, we're matching up against the Boston Bruins. Three unanswered from the Sabres is going to give us game one, and once again, three unanswered is putting Buffalo up two games to none. Boston avoids falling to a 3-0 deficit with a 4-2 win in game three, and in game four, a Bergeron OT winner is evening the series. A 3-0 lead is more than enough, and Buffalo's putting themselves one game away from the conference finals, and in game six, Buffalo's coming out on top in a back and forth affair. In the conference finals, we're matching up against the Carolina Hurricanes. Five straight goals is going to give us game one, but Carolina is responding in game two with five of their own to even the series. The Sabres take a close game three, three to two, and in game four, another close win puts us one game away from the Stanley Cup. And in game five, five unanswered is more than enough, and we're headed back to the Stanley Cup final. This time around, we're matching up against the Calgary Flames, and it's going to be Matthew Kachuk versus Brady Kachuk. An OT winner from Connor McDavid's allowing us to take game one. A late goal from Matthew Kachuk is going to even the series in game two. Calgary continues to roll, taking game three, four to one, and game four with an OT winner from Johnny Hockey. Luckily, Buffalo is able to survive in game five with four unanswered, and in game six, three unanswered in the third is forced in game seven. And in game seven, it's the perfect ending as the recently acquired Brady Kachuk is scoring the OT winner to win us the Stanley Cup. Leading all postseason scorers was Connor McDavid with 11 goals and 25 assists for 36 points, while Vasilevsky picks up 16 wins with a 907 save percentage and a 265 goals against. Honestly, I was expecting this video to take way longer, but I guess when you get to draft Connor McDavid, that can change your franchise.